Russia vs. Ukraine and Allies War There was a recent report claiming we were close to nuclear strikes as a result of planned escalation by Ukraine and Allies to strike at targets inside Russia, and, uh, Russians' perception of this, if it occurs, construes a declaration of war by NATO on Russia. The irony of this statement, declaration of war, cannot go unnoticed, as some have maintained that the attack of one nation against another is a declaration of war. This contravenes the international laws of each country's sovereignty, amongst other UN stipulations of conflict resolution approaches amongst nations. Regardless of one's opinion on this issue, aggression at all levels is constantly condemned by all, with punishments evoked to stem and deter reoccurrence from perpetrators and those who are minded to imitate these acts. The following is an account of the recent events and proffers the position and planned actions of each side. The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, which has now entered its third year, raises significant concerns about global stability. But the notion that it is leading to the imminent end of the world is an exaggeration. While the war has profound implications for international relations and security, experts suggest that the immediate risk of a broader escalation that could threaten global existence is relatively low, although long-term risks remain. Current Situation as of September 21, 2024, the situation in Ukraine remains tense with continued military engagements. Recent developments include missile strikes by Russia causing civilian injuries and damage to infrastructure, while Ukraine's air defense successfully intercepted a significant number of Russian drones. The human cost of the conflict has been substantial, with estimates indicating over 70,000 Russian soldiers have died since the invasion began in February 2022. Experts have noted that while there is a low short-term risk of escalation into a larger European war, concerns persist about potential future conflicts. The war could spill over into neighboring countries or lead to accidental confrontations between Russia and NATO forces. Analysts emphasize the need for sustained international attention and proactive measures to prevent broader regional instability. Long-term risks are more pronounced. A potential Russian victory could embolden further aggressive actions by Moscow. This scenario raises fears of increased military ambitions towards Europe if Russia perceives itself as successful in Ukraine. Global Implications The international community has responded with significant military and financial support for Ukraine, amounting to nearly 100 billion euros from the EU alone. This support aims to deter Russian advances and maintain stability in Europe. However, there are concerns about the sustainability of this support amid shifting political landscapes in countries like Slovakia and the United States, where some factions are advocating for reduced assistance to Ukraine. In summary, while the conflict poses serious challenges and risks to global security, particularly if it escalates or leads to further territorial ambitions by Russia, it is not accurate to conclude that it heralds an impending apocalypse. The situation demands careful monitoring and diplomatic efforts to navigate the complexities of international relations in this volatile context. The world is not on the brink of ending due to this conflict. Rather, it faces a critical juncture that requires strategic responses from global powers to ensure long-term peace and stability. Recent reports indicate that Ukraine has indeed begun to conduct strikes deep within Russian territory which has raised concerns about the potential for escalation in the ongoing conflict. On September 19, 2024, Ukrainian forces reportedly targeted a military depot in Toropets, located approximately 500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, using domestically developed armaments. This strike resulted in significant secondary explosions, highlighting Ukraine's expanding military capabilities and its intent to engage targets beyond its borders. Ukrainian officials have expressed ambitions to enhance their military production capacity, 
significantly aiming to triple their output by 2025. This includes developing new weaponry capable of reaching targets deep inside Russia, which marks a notable shift in their military strategy. The Ukrainian defense minister emphasized that this increase in production is a response to previous shortages and aims to bolster their counteroffensive capabilities against Russian forces. In response to these developments, Russian officials have Russian ambassador to the United Nations characterized Ukraine's deep strikes as indicative of a direct NATO-Russia conflict, suggesting that if Western nations lift restrictions on military support for Ukraine, it would signify an escalation into direct warfare between NATO and Russia. Additionally, a senior Russian official hinted that Moscow's patience is wearing thin and that they may consider more drastic measures if provoked further. The situation underscores the delicate balance of power and the risks of escalation inherent in this conflict. As both sides continue to adapt their strategies and capabilities, the potential for miscalculations or unintended consequences remains a pressing concern for international security. The Bible is clear that the end of the world will come as a thief in the night. See 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2 and 2 Peter 3 verse 10 by the return of the Lord Jesus Christ in his full glory with the elect to judge the world. Christians take comfort from this fact. And for this it is clear that no man can end this world, not by their act or intent, for God has so designed it this way. The threats of wars and rumors of wars are also mentioned in the Bible. See Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and Mark chapter 13 verse 7. These passages warn us that reliance on this world and its princes will not end well, giving flesh the credence and expecting that man can resolve the issues we find ourselves in, especially the war issues, is a hope built on shifting sand. It's like building or erecting a fine and large edifice on a foundation of sand, hoping it will stand in a fierce storm. Our souls are the building and the sand represents princes and men. We also take refuge in the word, for since God made the world, then he is the only one we can trust with it, especially what he tells us about its beginning and end. He is the defender of his property and guards his world jealously, see Exodus chapter 20 verse 5 and Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 15 for his reputation's sake. It may seem to the unlearned eye that some persons or group of persons did heroically and acted to prevent catastrophe, but make no mistake, God raised the ruler and the man, moves us to prayer, and acts according to the counsel of his own will. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. See Luke chapter 12, verse 32, and forever with the Lord, amen, so let it be. The hymn forever with the Lord, Amen, so let it be shall follow. Forever with the Lord, Amen, so let it be. Thy from the dead is in thy word. Is immortality yet in the body pen I send from him I roam yet my leafage my moving ten but is not near My father's house of heart, a world my soul I'll hear. At times the faithful seen I, the golden gates appear. Ah, then my spirit fades to reach the land I love, the bright inheritance of saints, yeah, sad
then add a with the Lord. Father, it is thy will, the promise of thy faithful wife, he to be fulfilled. Be thou at thy right hand, then can I never fail, uphold thou me, and I shall stand right, I must rebel. So when my latest breath shall rend the living twain, by then I shall escape from death and life eternal gain. Knowing as I am known, how shall I love that word and of weeping before the with the Lord.